So we have all seen this cold girl makeup look going around. So today I'm going to show you how you can easily achieve this look in 5 steps in under 5 minutes with what you already have at home. Okay, so first I'm going to clip my little side bangs back. Assuming you have everything that you need for your base done, like whatever you need to do down for it, the first step that we're going to jump into is blush. The most important part for blush in this case is going to be the placement. I'm going to grab my blush. I am using the Dior Backstage Powder Blush. I'm using the powder blush because we kind of want things to be a little bit more on the matte side. So I'm going to take some, I'm going to dip in, and I'm going to start on just the apples of my- this is a big blush brush, but it has like a little angle. I don't know if you can tell it has a little angle, so I kind of tilt it with that angle. So I'm going to start on the apples of my cheeks, and then I'm going to blend up to my temples. Now I'm using this Dior Backstage Blush because it is more cool tone, which is one of the key elements of this makeup look, is that we want to be using more cool tones. Like you can use really whatever blush you want, it doesn't matter, but if you want to get more spot on, cool tones are the way to go. Peachy tones are what's more flattering on you, then go ahead and use that, or like berry tones. Okay, now I'm going to take it, get a little, and I'm going to go on the tip of my nose. Not as much the bridge of it, but mainly just the tip of it. When it's on the bridge, it looks more of like the sunburnt type of look, which is not what we're going for today. So now I'm going to take a little beauty blender and I'm going to spray just a little bit. I'm going to use this to sort of diffuse it out. But so like since I focused it here, I'm going to blend around the area, not really right on it. So now that that is all done, that is the first step, we're going to go ahead and move on to eyeshadow. Now eyeshadow is really simple. This is kind of a monochromatic look. We want something that's either going to be the same thing, like you can just use the same blush and put that on your eyelids, or something that is of a similar color and tone, once again, cool tones in particular. I'm going to go in with this little mauve color. We're going to focus this eyeshadow just on our crease. But once again, you can go just straight. Oh, that was very heavy. I think this is a little bit dark for what I like. So on the other eye, I'm going to try going in just straight with the blush instead. Yes, I think I like that 10 times better. So for the next step, which is our third step, we're going to go in with a very subtle shimmer, literally just a swipe of eyeshadow on the eyelids. Typically what I've seen um, is people use kind of like a white, very fine type of glitter shadow, but since I don't have that, I do, oops, not that one, I do have this palette. This is the Culture, um, I'll, link it, I'll link everything that I'm using down below. So I'm gonna go in with the shade Ifique. I don't know how to say that. A little, I guess it has like a kind of green Reflection. Actually, I have this little Ice Ice Baby palette, and I think that like this light blue shade over here is honestly more. It suits the look that we're going for better, so I'm gonna use this one. And now I'm gonna go in with the shimmer, very carefully because it is light blue. Oh my. No, I don't like this either. <laughs> I do have one last fix if this isn't gonna work. I have this, it is a white cream head. All right guys, I am back. So I ended up going in, this is the Morphe 2. It's a Morphe 2 Oso Nudie palette and I ended up going with the Pearl Face Highlighter. Speaking of highlighter, we are actually going to move on to highlighter next. I'm gonna take a brush because we are going for that very precise type of look. So I'm gonna, Start on the inner, inner corner and then I'm going to go kind of underneath with the thicker layer rather than like blending it out. So now for lips, you can keep them matte or you can do something glossy. It's really up to you. I'm actually going to take this Rare Beauty liquid blush in this shade Grace on my pinky there. That's how much I'm taking. But really the main point is that I want to focus it on the center and kind of diffuse it out. I've also seen some people kind of like, they'll take some blush and sort of do it like around your lips. Make it look sort of like chapped. And that is actually all that I'm going to do for lips. Alright you guys, so this is the final look. I just went in with the, um, the Essence I Love Extreme Crazy Volume Mascara. And 
unfortunately, I don't have like a chunky scarf or some earmuffs to really put this in the full effect, but I know you see the vision. Anyways, that is it for today's video. I hope that you guys enjoyed, and I'll see y'all in the next one. Bye! Going on way home, man, one last time. Cushion OJ, I feel fine. Less on less this time, yeah. One dance won't pass me by, yeah. Cushion OJ, feel so fine, yeah.